So we're halfway through. What do you guys think so far? Good, huh? All right. Next up is Jin Tang. Jin is a postdoc in Rudolf Janisch's lab and also has an affiliation in Merganka Sur's lab at the Pick Hour. He grew up in Chongqing City in southwest China, which, if you don't know, is a thriving metropolis of 30 million people, which is about five times the population of the entire state of Massachusetts. <laughs> he did his undergraduate work in biomedical engineering at Hua Chong University of Science and Technology in China and his graduate work at Penn State University. The coolest biological phenomenon he's ever witnessed is recording electrical activities from neurons. He says it's like you are having one-on-one -on -one interviews with these tiny brain cells, and they will tell you their secrets if you ask the right questions. The title of Jin's talk is, A Firefly Enzyme Sheds Light on a Cure for Brain Diseases. If I ask you to compare the brain on the left to a brain on the right, did you notice any difference? Probably not. They are exactly the same in this drawing. However, as the background indicates, they function differently. That's because they have changes in the genes they choose to express. You see, this is a major challenge when it comes to finding drugs to treat brain disease. Because those little changes in gene expression that make a brain sick, they are invisible. Therefore, it is very hard to tell whether a drug has cured the brain or not. Today, I'm delighted to share with you how our team used the enzyme from the firefly to make those invisible sicknesses visible, and how that can help us to discover a better drug to treat brain disease. In order to drive a car properly, you need a balance between the gas and the brake. In order for our brain to function properly, you also need a balance between the gas and the brake in the brain. In many cases of brain diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, autism, schizophrenia, such balance is lost. This is because a critical gene, let's just refer to it as X, the level is reduced. So you might be thinking, if we find a drug that increases the level of X, maybe we can restore brain balance and cure those brain diseases. There's one little problem. So far, there's no drug that is able to boost the level of X, zero. Is it because there aren't enough drugs? No. There are more than 9,000 drugs in the global market. We just don't know which one to choose that may be effective. Our team believes an answer to this big question we come from a humble source, the firefly. Firefly has an enzyme called luciferase. That's what they use to light up in the midsummer nights. What we did is we used a genome editing tool called CRISPR, developed right here at MIT. We can Take, yes. we, can take the, we can take the luciferous gene from a firefly and insert it into the X gene in the human neurons. By doing this trick, those human neurons will report to us how much X was made by literally lighting up. Then we employ robots to test hundreds and hundreds of drugs, including small molecule chemicals, natural products, FDA-approved drugs, on those reported neurons. Through this screening, we have discovered the first group of drugs that are able to boost the expression of X. We test those drugs in an animal model of autism. The brain balance was restored, and the disease symptom went away. I'm particularly excited about the fact that many of the drugs we discovered are FDA approved. They've been used to treat non-brain diseases such as leukemia. We have effectively repurposed those clinically safe drugs to treat brain disease. This will cut down the development cost in a big way. And those drugs, since they're clinically safe, they can reach the hospital in a much faster pace. Because patients and their families, they cannot wait. Thank you for your attention.